your independent music source, 91.7 WSTE. Welcome to WSTE's bi-monthly independent artist spotlight. The independent artist spotlight will feature local and regional recording artists throughout the Carolinas. Now, we have the pleasure this morning to having Shelby, North Carolina's own Fat Sparrows in the house. Give it up for the Fat Sparrows in the house. Thank you. And, of course, let's get to the members. Brandon Garlock, he's the vocalist and guitarist. Donnie Deaton, lead guitarist. Bill Ewing, bassist, killing a bass. And Eric Kimbrell, drummer and backup vocalist. Now, the Fat Sparrows, their next concert in the area will be on April 3rd at Barley's Tap Room in Spindale, North Carolina That's at right, yeah. 8 p.m. Welcome, guys. Thank you for having us. Thank, you. Thank, Thank you, you for being here. Now, the new CD, Fatalistic, how did you come up with that title, Brandon? Uh, well, it's uh, one of the songs on the album, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> I felt that it was a good, um, a good word to describe the feel of the whole thing, so... Um, just going on, uh, you know, on the theme of, you know, uh, the, the song itself is, is about, you know, um, hardships and, you know, depression and what else, what have you comes, comes your way in life. And, uh, the whole album kind of reflects that, the ups and downs of life, so. Yeah, so, like, all the great songs that you guys have, because everybody's calling every 10 minutes, can I hear this one, can I hear that one, can I hear this one? Oh, that's awesome. And... <laughs> How did you decide what songs go on the album? Because I know you had to cut, you know, some of the songs. So were you guys like fighting? Like, no, I want this one. No, I wrote this one. So how did uh, you do that? Yeah. We did fight a little bit, but um, you know, we wanted to keep a kind of flow and and a feel um, that fit the theme. We have you know plenty of material to do another album, even right now. But um, yeah, we we tried to group them together so that there was a, a consistent theme and a consistent feel. Okay, so like, what are your songs like mostly about? Because some of the callers they'll call in and they'll say, "Yeah, but my wife told me about this one, and I got to get it together." And they got it from your songs. So how do you come up with like the concept? Do you go through so the band members? You come in like, "Well, I am feeling so fatalistic right now." <laughs> <laughs> how do you how do, you do that? Uh, I don't know. Really. <laughs> <laughs> Mystery in his songs yeah. about life, about family. I mean, uh, it's writes songs about his his children, my kids. You know, I mean, it's about everyday things. Hey, Brandon, you have kids. You look like a kid yourself. Come yeah, on. I got two. Really? Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's a good yeah, thing. I got so, two. so when they crazy. go through things, your kids, do you write about that too? You're like, okay, Susan, cut the TV off. Or? Um, yeah, I mean, I don't write about specific things, but I mean, definitely, my family is always in. You know, in my thoughts when I'm writing the song, uh, some of that comes out. I think definitely. So, how long have you guys been together, and, and where did you meet? Well, um, the, the Fat Spare has actually been been formed for a few years now, but you know we've undergone some changes in the band. Um, it took a while to get the right the right guys together. We got it right this time, I think. Uh, but me and Eric have been playing together for a couple years, and uh, then we had, yeah. And then we had, uh, he knew Bill from what, another band you played in? Yeah, knew him from another band, and I met him at a hardware store and was like, hey, Bill, can you come <laughs> and, uh, and play with us? And so he came in, and then we were looking for another guitarist, and, and he worked with Donnie at the okay. time, so he brought Donnie into it, and it's been one big happy family since. Yeah. Okay, so it's usually referral. You're like, call my yeah. name at the stoplight, yeah. and George. And that's what it is, man, because we went through several different musicians, so we just, you know, just found the right combination of people, and it, and it works like this. Well, it's yeah, a great group. It is a fabulous combination. Now, now all the people that have called in here, <clears throat> I'm going to go about it. This people are streaming all over the planet. Now, I, I've done radio in, in Hollywood, Los Angeles, five years. I'm nervous with you guys. I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> For the questions right with the fetch barrels, Rick Borland Springs have yeah. been following you, yeah. and the Kentucky, Florence, Kentucky people are calling from, uh, Debbie in Indiana. Never met Debbie in my life, I don't think. Wow. But, um, and, uh, <laughs> she said, you know, when you, when she remembers you as a kid, you know, when you grew up yeah, and everything. Yeah, it could be. I'm, I'm originally from Indiana, yeah, that's probably where it's Yeah, that's, but, uh, yeah, that's what they say. said, James Dean lived right up the road, and people <laughs> were telling me, <laughs> All you guys, the stories, like when Brandon was a kid, he, I'm like, that's a great thing. So, yeah. But that's good when your audience follows you like that. And I've seen your website, and I don't even call them 
groupies. This, I call them female followers because it's a ton of females. <laughs> so how do you handle that? You know, you, you have everybody have very carefully. <laughs> <laughs> we we all do have significant others. Okay. So, we, so how is it on the road? You know, with you guys and significant others and writing songs about everything. Uh, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> but no, uh, um, you know, we just try to keep it real. We're there for the music and we just do our shows, do our thing, and you know, that's what it's all about. So. Okay, so now, what are your like musical influences? Who who do you listen to? Who's in your iPod? Uh, oh gosh, I've got so many. Um, I heard a couple of them on the way over here, though, that you played. Okay. Uh, I heard Radiohead. That's a big yeah. one for me. Um, I think Tom York is probably the only guy that can sing an entire song in a falsetto okay. and pull it off. Okay. You know, he's just <laughs> yeah, like, he did the whole song in falsetto. <laughs> no, but I love Radiohead, uh, Iron Wine. Uh, you just played the Decembers. I like them. Uh, Bob Dylan's been a big influence. Um, there's too many to name. Really. Okay, so when you were a kid, what was the, the first song that you heard that you knew, okay, I'm going to be a singer? If you can remember. I don't... I, I, <laughs> <laughs> Good question. Um, it was probably a Bob Dylan song because I probably heard his voice and thought if he can do it, I can do it, definitely. <laughs> if he can get away with singing, then surely I can. But, um, uh, yeah, it's, it's probably Bob Dylan. Okay, now, on the album, what's the favorite song that you like performing in the group off the album? Depends one night of the week. Um, <laughs> okay. See, that's, we go back and forth with our favorites on the album because I think we all, you know, depending on the mood, uh, and Bill's always changing his mind on which song his, his favorite is. He's always like, hey, I think this one's my new favorite. Yeah, Bill but, uh, likes really epic songs, yeah, like Harsh of Winter and Well, I've seen yeah, Bill that's, on, that's on the website favorite. and all the pictures that you have. Bill's happy with all the songs. He's <laughs> yeah. yeah, just throwing yeah, it down band there. Yeah. So you guys are going to play live for us, right? Yeah. So, sure. And your first song is going to be Anywhere. So what, what were you thinking when you wrote that? Uh, well, you know, as I said, I, I try to write, you know, songs about family or, or not try to, but it always comes out that way because um, that's what's most important to me. Um, but with this particular song, it, it's really a love song, and it's probably the only straightforward love song on the the whole CD. I think everything else is kind of um, remnants of, of love or, or pieces of, of love. But this one is, is, without a doubt, it basically just means that no matter where I'm at anywhere, um, as I'll be home as long as I'm you know, with my wife. So that's what it's about. I'm about to cry up, baby. That's a good one. <laughs> the Fat Sparrows with... Anywhere.
it's all the same. I gave you that diamond ring, with it goes all of me. Sparrows from Shelby, North Carolina, and Brandon, you handle your business because you know you, you reached out, and I said, well, where's, the, "Where's the CD? It's coming! It's coming! It's in the mail. We yeah. gotta wait for." It. And yeah. then you were just sending MP3s. You're just like, "Look, Tim, I got an MP16. Okay, just <laughs> download it. <laughs> gotta but, keep you interested. You know? Yes, and you, and, but you're here. Yeah. So, and this is like the the station. People were waiting for you. But you're blowing up all over the internet. People were calling in, and. Um, what was the most a bizarre thing that happened on stage with you guys? Because you guys like you have fun in all your photos. Bizarre thing. When it, it was a black mountain, I went to the restroom, came back. There was a girl sitting on my drum set playing drums. And another <laughs> guy really, yeah. jumped up on stage and was singing. These were the same people they that took were also. Our band over that. Yeah. <laughs> they, great, they, yeah, they were hula hooping and and rolling and around on the beer keg, yeah. hula hooping. <laughs> Oh, wow. During our show, that was, yes. a, that was a fun night. It was yeah. a fun night. It's a great place, and we're going back to that. <laughs> Anywhere I'll go. Yeah, okay. Wow, I should have been there. Now, Brendan, if you had five minutes left on Earth to perform a song, what song would it be, and why would you pick that song? Uh, it'd be Saving Kisses off the album. Okay, and why would you pick that? Um, because it um, it covers so many so many things, really. That are important to me, and so many things that I've been through, and um, I, I like to joke that, you know, when we play the song out, I'm, I prepare everybody, to, uh, you know, to have us have a seat. This is our epic 15-minute song, <laughs> and uh, it's really only like you know 13 minutes, but <laughs> no, it's it's like it's like seven, but still, this is long as Stairway to Heaven. So, <laughs> all right. So I want you to fill in the blank, okay? This, right. this is different here. Without music. I would be nothing. <laughs> okay. I had to look uh, look at somebody else for that one because okay. <laughs> backup singer without music you would be Oh now see I gave him the answer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, lost. Lost. And without music you would be lazy. <laughs> <laughs> Guitarist, without music, you would be... I'm already lazy, so I'd say boring. You'd be boring. So music, I guess, is the soundtrack of your life. Okay, and, <clears throat> and Brandon, music is... Everything. <laughs> All right. Wow. And how about another fill-in-the-blank? Financially support WSGE because... Oh, wow. Because it's a great place. Um, the way you guys support the community and... Local musicians. I mean, independent music. Independent music. I mean, it's you guys do a lot, and uh, you know we appreciate you having us, but also we appreciate what you bring to us because I'm a listener. So good. So, so did you ever imagine, like, from your first email, you're like, this guy get hundreds of emails. He's not gonna email me back. That you guys would be right here in the studio with your new CD, with all your songs being played? <laughs> no, probably. I, I, I don't. You know, I didn't really. I just. Went for it. I mean, I, I didn't know if it would happen or not, but um, but I do believe in our music, and I, I think it's going to reach some people. So, you know, you got to put yourself out there. Yeah, and we believe in you. 
So Thank we you. we brought you in, and uh, so like, where have you guys gone? You know, have you guys been featured in any of the music magazines or anything like that yet? Uh, no, not really. We've uh, we've been flying under the radar. Under the, okay, so you, <laughs> so you need a bigger, I guess, contact base. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so if, you, if you have 459 pages of music contacts, you think that'll help you? Oh, that'd be great. Okay, well, you know, I've been in the business for... for Hook us up, Dan, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I've written two top ten million-selling singles, and got a couple groups signed. Here is 450, no, 559 pages of my wow. music contacts. I and you have all the uh, AMR. So all you, and it's going to be easy. All you got to do is copy and paste the emails. I did all the work. Thank you so much. Okay, Thank so you, you. you got to make it happen. And you know you can get the uh, guys' copy, so all of you guys now should get to the next level. I, I want to see you guys with Jimmy Kimmel and stuff like that. Oh, that'd be great. All right. So yeah, the it. Fat Sparrows, you guys are going to perform another song for all of our fabulous listeners and listening online. We're almost streamed out here. Oh yes, because uh, our operations manager, Katniss Hall, said if I stream out the streamer, I get free lunch. All right. So well, let's get you, you there. guys. <laughs> w S T E. Can we get free lunch too? <laughs> <laughs> Our operations manager, maybe Miss Barber can cook you some, uh, some great food there. But uh, Fat Sparrows, your next song. As a matter of fact, before we get to that, James Dean, how did you come about with, uh, you know, what made you come up with James Dean? Well, um, it's more or less about um, the anticipation of an argument. And um, there again, it goes back to, you know, the home life, family life. And I just thought, you know, hey, let's, let's be cool. <laughs> and I couldn't think of anybody cooler than James Dean, and it just kind of came out. Excellent. Let's get with the Fat Sparrows in studio live. And the security, I got to hold the security guards back. These guys are so famous here. <laughs> They're going to do James Dean on WSGE.
Let's be cooler than a oh, baby hamster. Oh, Woo! Yeah, this hall. Let's be cooler than. <laughs> Tim Green. Oh, let's be cooler than Miss Barbara. But you know something? I don't think anybody is, is cooler than Miss Barbara. Just you know. No, she's awesome. She makes a mean barbecue meatballs. She be juking at the bowling alley. So I don't think. No, let's give another lick for Miss Barbara and Joe Mays. Oh, Nobody's cooler than Joe Mays. And nobody's cooler than. Miss Barbara. Oh, you gotta give it up to Miss Cathis Hall, too. Nobody's oh. cooler than Cathis Hall. All right, Fat Sparrows in the building. Joe Mays is right here. He comes up next on Middays. Nobody's cooler. Man, they did a great job. Oh, yeah. Thank fabulous, you. fabulous Thank guys. You. And you, you had, I guess, a, something there about the WSTE. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I threw something together for you guys just because. Uh, you know, we really appreciate you and everything you do. We appreciate um, you for coming. I, I, I realize you guys are like uh, starting up a spring fun drive yes, and sir. Uh, trying yes, to sir. collect some funds. So, uh, I don't know, maybe you can use this or something. All right, well, here's Brandon with Spring Drive. Fat yeah, Sparrow's in the building with Nobody's Cool and Joe Mays. There you go. <laughs> okay. Hey, hey, hang on. <laughs>